you see it picked off, picked off. Got them at the intersection. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. It's the Mac of the Year. Y'all, I'm talking about random streets. You feel me? Drug motherfucking free. But I was always off that THC and drinking and a dibble dab every now and then. That they bag me, but always believe the Mac always got his money stay sharp. And I stay with my niggas. I tap with my niggas, but you know, we grown. So my niggas do what my niggas do with they bras and do what they do. Then I got my homegirls and I got my strat. I got my street sisters, you feel me? I got my sisters where I'm like Tila. I'm trying to tap back in. I pray well, I pray every day. One day I tap back in with Jennifer. Fuck, she don't even feel like she my I don't even think she my sister anymore, the way she act. But uh, shit, man, on real guys dealership. And Megan, she's always gonna be my sister, man. And everybody know my dad told me to my face, that's his daughter. That stands. My dad's no longer living. Nigga, you feel me? Nigga, my dad's no longer living, nigga. So it's like this, bruh. Nigga, what my dad said when I met her in 2017 in Vallejo. In Motel 7, over there in the south, when I met my sister Megan, when she came down with her mom, Liz, the moment I laid my eyes on her, I knew Megan, you know what I mean, was my sister, you feel me? And I wish I was raised with her, but I wasn't, but I'm trying to establish that relationship with her. And I love Megan, man. Megan's my, she's my sister, you feel me? You know, you know, Dina acted funny, but, you know, she's still my sister. And she goes, Dina, me and Dina was always like this, but, you know, her, her, her son got to pay the price. <laughs> DK, I mean, I just scratched that. Not DK, that's my nephew, but DT Jr. He got to see me with the gloves, man, at least once. I mean, it's just, it has to be like my my cousin Stack said. You can't yada da because he blood, but he can get his ass whooped and know he disrespected his own. That's a whole nother story. I'll deal with that later. But on a positive note, Tila is doing splendous. I love Tila, man. And uh, anyway, I'm just going to stay positive with Tila. Yeah, you know I mean, Tila doing her thug thizzle. I love Tila, man. On my mama, on my and Gammy, man. Where you rest in peace, my dad's mom. You know what I'm saying? I love you, Gammy. You know what I'm saying? Every time I see you, I remember Aunt Kathy said it best. Ronnie Jr. His heart so full of love for his bloodline. My Aunt Kathy, I remember when she said it at Vicky House in Vallejo on Ron Court. I remember like it was yesterday. It was like ninety seven, ninety six, ninety six, ninety seven. I remember Kathy, my Aunt Kathy, telling her sister, my Aunt Vicky, man, Ronnie Jr.'s heart so big, it could be a whole decade you see him. That boy run up and give you a hug and love, love you like he saw you yesterday. And that's how I was with my grandmother, Gammy, who didn't like to be called Grandma. It was either Gammy, you know what I'm saying, with her grandkids, and Mommy with her kids. The whole 10, 15 times I, I met my Gammy, off and on long periods of time. Like, that part wasn't even that. It was part like seven, eight. But every time was precious. And she is my grandmother, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, my grandmother Gammy just lived a different life than my grandmother that I was raised with. I mean, everybody's different. You know what I'm saying? But she is my blood. And I was blessed to meet my grandmother Gammy, my dad's mom, who went home to heaven February 1st, 2019 to be with her son and to be with my auntie, you know what I'm saying, Sharon, and Bebop, you know what I'm saying, my grandfather, my dad's dad, who passed away in Oakland back in, what, I think 2000, 2001, 2001, you know what I'm saying, didn't get a chance to meet Bebop on earth, but I pray I meet him in heaven one day, I'm talking about, but like my Uncle John say, out there in Washington, man, Roddy Jr., nephew, yo, my dad was the split image of your dad, Ronnie's dad, my grandfather, Bebop, was the exact, he was a gangster, just like my dad, my dad was, my dad was the epitome of a real straight gangster, I mean, from, I mean, you would think to yourself, my dad was never, my dad never came off his feet. My mama told me war stories. My dad told me war stories with my mama. My mama was a bad bitch. She's still living in Sacramento before she got old and sick. My mom was whooping bitches. By. My mom's white. My mom was whooping bitches every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like she was just, 
You know what I'm saying? Like my dad said, you know what I'm saying? Two bitches try to jump my mama. My mama whooping the air like, Ron, get these bitches. You know what I'm saying? She ride, my dad ride. My mom just, you know, she was tired of my dad going to the pen, so she got remarried. You know what I'm saying? To scary Jerry. You know what I'm saying? But Jerry is family, and I respect him, but never on that level because he just don't have that right, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But uh, maybe my sisters and somebody else feel different. I'm talking about Jennifer because she was five when he came into her life. Me? Shit, man. <laughs> I ain't never called no other man pops. And that's on my pops. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm about to lay it down, man. Just jumped about the shower. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Just freshly out the shower, lotioned up. You know what I'm talking about? Gucci cologne. Gucci slippers. My hair is shining on some herbal weight. Dove deodorant. Dove lotion. Bed is immaculate. I see Pat's about to be turned on. <laughs> Gangsta Pat. And I'm cleaning the sober. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, and everybody know when the Mac do his stuff, Thizzle, you feel me? I be with my homegirls. I love Princess. I love Renee. I love Lindsay, bro. Oh, my mama, nigga. You know, they're my homegirls. Them, them girls, I, I don't give a fuck where I'm at on those planet, bro. Oh, my mama. I could be. Nigga, anywhere, nigga. I always, I could be in the pen. I could be on streets. I can be out of that, whatever, nigga. That's about. I will always tap in with them girls. Why? Because they hold that, they hold that place for me, right here, right here. And I can't forget about Amy too. Solid on the mob, nigga. I'll put that on B, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just had to go bad on this bitch. That's my friend in the West. This bitch tried to compare me to the dusty ass guy that I mean she kicking with. I said, bitch, hold up. Don't you have in your motherfucking life to compare me to them dusty ass niggas you fuck with? Fuck, you think I am? It's the Mac, nigga. I had to wreck my hood. I didn't want to do that with her, though. Because she's an old lady and we friends anyway. Over a chair she got up out the garbage can? Yeah, okay, I broke it on accident waiting on you, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my chips and I went to pick them up. I'm a big nigga. The chair broke. It came out the trash. I will buy you another one, bitch. You talking about you can't kick it with me over a trash can chair? And and you gonna throw another nigga name in the pot and put him with me? And he dusty? Bitch, I won't. Look, don't you ever in your, every homegirl know. Every bitch know. Every homegirl, every bitch I used to be with. You don't ever tell Matt Ryan. Nigga, you don't ever mention another nigga in front of Mac Ryan. You don't ever put him in the category of another nigga. I don't care if he's a boss. I don't care if he's a real nigga. I don't care if he's a fake nigga. I don't care if he's a dusty nigga. I don't care if he's a smoker. I don't give a fuck. He came out the trash can. I don't care if he's from that block or my block. Don't you ever in your life put my name in the category of another nigga. Nigga, I don't rock like that. And she did it more than once. And nigga, I'm like, nigga, bitch, fuck your chair, bitch. Nigga, I'm sober. Yeah, I'm talking. Hey, nigga. But, uh, off that negative shit, uh, stay on the motion. Gammy. She always told me, Ronnie Jr., I could hear, I, I was walking yesterday, and I was remembering her voice say, she was like, Ronnie Jr., I remember, I, could, I was walking yesterday to go see my dad, and her voice entered my mind. How she used to talk to me on the phone, even in person. She's like, that's good, Ronnie Jr. So you keep up, you know, you so strong, just like your dad. And your, your daddy love you, and, and, and Gammy love you, and you just keep pushing, you keep staying strong, Ronnie Jr. You know, that voice, that time when she talked to me, entered my mind when I was walking to go see my pops. You know what I'm saying? And then when my nigga little Rob took me over there, you know what I'm saying? Dad, I love you, man. Rest in peace, man. Miss you every day. Miss you every day on the B. B Dog for Life. Hammer Blood. HB. From Old Folsom, New Folsom, Quentin, CMF, Tracy, Backerville. I'm talking about the old way when it was the real penitentiary. He was a B Dog, but he was also with that Swahili shit. And he was with that BGF. Now, I ain't got to say what the BGF means. If you don't know, he's a L7 nigga on the map.